visual evidence I can hear is he shared the video. I don't think there is anything. Or because you see, many of these guys were say, do you, do you assist? This name were given to us by like the verse is shared the deck with the what? The video type. Uh, yes. Don't know whether or not you said you received the video footage on nine. Excuse me. Um Serwanga Ronald, not Sir, Serwanga. Okay, Serwanga Ronald, yes. Yes. It was on nine at six. Yes. You stayed with it throughout the night without sharing it with anyone. I shared it on that day. You shared it on that of nine. Yes? Yes, evening. What time? Video the next day morning. I was asking. You stayed with it without sharing it with anyone on 9th? Yes, I stayed with it. So you first discussed it with who? On 9th? I first communicated it to the social media handler of Honorable Javira, that is Kaumasten. By what means? By a phone call. What time? <laughs> it was around the 7, but I never recorded that information. And uh, you said there are lots of the other things you share with the uh, Mbuga Henry. Yes. What are those things? Uh, as I come from Okochi, a county of Uganda, and as a Muganda, we have youth committees. So I am part of the youth committee of Koch, for which Mr. Mbunga Henry is also a member. So we share being a, com being a committee members of the youth committee of Koch. So you also sit on the youth committee? Yes. And uh, you said he's a member of NOOP? Yes. And for you, you subscribe to a different party. Are you a member of NOOP? I'm not a member of NOOP, and I, I don't subscribe to any party as per now. Okay. Do you know the reason why the video was shared with you? Uh, I may not know the reason, but I can just think of the, some reasons. They have reason. asked you, do you know do the, you know the reason? reason? And that shows yes or no? No, I don't know. And it was not followed with any statement when he shared it with you. Just sent it. So when he sent the video, uh, he proceeded with the, a photo. And the, that photo, it is a photo of Honorable Zake with the, a resident of Ramagwa. Uh, that person is called Matovu Hassan. So, the Honorable Bozake took a photo with the resident of Ramagwa called Matovasan, and that photo was shared with me. I was asking any statement written on that video, or shortly after sending the video. Is there any statement that followed that video from Henry Mboga? I don't remember the statement, but it was there. You don't remember what it was. Okay. And do you know, I mean, what reason did you send that video to uh, Kauma Stand? Why did you send it to him? 
first of all, I sent to Commerce Tender because he's a media handler for my boss, Honorable Javira and Honorable Juliet. So when I communicated to him via phone call, he asked for that video, maybe for him to forward to the bosses. And you said you found it so demeaning and you couldn't share it with the, your boss, your principal? Yes. And to you, you are not demeaning or defaming your principal by sharing it with the Mahendra Mboga? No, Kauma Sitend. Sorry. In your own judgment, you are not defaming him? So, in my own judgment, yes. my bosses trust Kauma. They even trusted him with the authority of posting anything on their social media platforms. So I thought that he has the capacity to explain to them better beyond what I could explain about that video. As political matters with your principal, or anything that happens? Yes, I do. Okay. And matters relating to his name, conduct, and whatever he does? Yes? Pardon? Do you also discuss matters relating to his conduct, his person, wherever they appear, in the constituency or elsewhere? Yes, we always evaluate ourselves. I evaluate him. He always asks me what has happened, how has been, maybe if we have had a constituency, a constituency activity, we always engage ourselves and we give report to one did, another. Did you evaluate this matter? I didn't. Yes? I didn't evaluate it with him because it, it, I felt it was beyond my capacity to evaluate it to, to him. Okay, you did not. So you said you sent it to Kauma the following day. Why not that very day? Yes, I didn't share it that very day because when I talked to Mr. Kauma, he had not loaded the data on his phone. So when I communicated in the morning, he told me I have data, you can share the video. Oh, he told you don't send it, I have no data to download it. No. What happened? I said in the next day morning, he told me that I have loaded the data, you can now share the video with me. Yes, I was asking on 9th, you discussed on phone and he told you he didn't have that on 9th. Therefore, he told you not to send it. He didn't tell me anything, but I decided not to send it. Oh. But he, he requested you in the telephone conversation for you to send it? Yes, he requested me. Okay. Do you always discuss political matters with Chinyamatama, the Honorable? On a rare basis. On a rare basis, what do you mean? Rare, rare cases. We, we don't regularly communicate. Don't because you, you say, did you always? Have you discussed this matter with the Honorable Chinyamatama? Yes, I when? met with the Honorable Chinyamatama. When? It was, it was last year, I don't remember the, the date. What was the discussion all about? The day I met Shinyamatama after we had shared this video, he had come, sorry, she had come to inquire whether I'm the one who shared the video to Kauma. 
which I accepted and which I had done. Okay. But if for your case, you have never shared it with her. Can you confirm that? Yes, I've never shared it with her. Do you know the person who recorded it? For that specific video, I cannot specify the person who recorded it because at the event there were very many people taking videos, but I just know the person who shared it with me. And do you know whether the Honorable Javira complained or not? Your principal? Yes, he complained. Where? When I communicated to him, he felt like all his reputation was destroyed, especially at the forefront of his voters of Ruamagwa. No, I was asking a formal complaint either before this committee or in, in, anywhere you are aware of where you complained. You are the PA. Any formal complaint so, he has ever raised, either going to court or doing whatever, taking any action. So, okay, for the formal complaint, he has not raised any formal complaint. So, and uh, you left it at that, you the PA and your superior, you left it at that, you never took any step. Okay, now, after Honorable Javira getting the news that the colleague Honorable Juliet had the uh, filed a complaint, then for him, decided to detract from uh, creating another complaint. Okay. You said you come from Kochi? Yes, I do come from Kochi. That is Rakai district? Yes. And that's where you vote from? Yes. Okay. Now, the Honorable Chinyamatama, because you said the statements you listened in and you were so much concerned and so on and so forth. When you listened to that statement allegedly made by the Honorable Zaka against Honorable Chinyamatama, did you believe the allegations as a person who votes from the, from Rakai, did you believe the allegation? Now, since the words were aired out by a colleague member of parliament, to some extent I believed. Oh, to some extent. But to a certain extent, you did not believe. Yeah, because it was the first time to hear such a statement. One part of your heart believed it, the other part did not believe. Yes. So in terms of percentage, in terms of what percentage of your heart believe? <laughs> but, but, uh, I, I think let, let, let's... Okay, I... I, 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 I you consider, I, I, consider. Instance, I was going to get a ruler. <laughs> <laughs> Mathematical and... <laughs> it's okay, proceed. So you have mixed feelings about it? Yes, I, I do have now. mixed feelings. Okay, mixed feelings. Mm -hmm. Do you hate her? On a personal level, I may not hate her. Okay. Fine, you may not hate her. Okay, now, finally. Uh, this Honorable Henry Mboga 
who allegedly shared this video yes. with you. Do you know where he, he, he's, where he stays, where he is, or what? Do you know? Um, currently, I may not specify the actual residence, but what I know is a resident of Ruamagwa, Samu County. Is that where the meeting allegedly took place, where that video footage was recorded from? A video footage was taken from a playground at Ruamagwa Town Council. Ruamagwa Town Council? Yes. Is that his village? It is not his village, no, his sub county. Okay. So you know, did you hear from anyone who attended? Yes, I've heard from several other friends of ours. Okay, fine. We leave it at that. No further question, Chair. You, you want to take Yes, that you're very smart. Oh, thank you very much, Chair. As a Chair, thank you very much, and uh, Council Kwago, for your cross examination. Just for clarification, you've been referring uh, to sharing videos. Can you hope this committee and tell us the numbers of Kauma, Ronald, Henry? Because you, I'm, I'm sure you're sharing on phones. So that maybe. Do you have their numbers? Yes, I have their numbers, and the committee also has because we okay. have ever submitted. Okay. They already don't record it? Yes. And that's good. Uh, and then you asked the question as to whether you had uh, Honorable Sobi, <clears throat> and you said at a personal level, you may not hate her. So at what level do you hate her? Because you said at a personal level, you don't. And then at what level? Because we want this to be very clear. But what do you mean at a personal level? Is there any other level that you may hate her? I don't know whether we can define levels. Mm. I would rather, uh, because we need to be fair to the question. Yes. He says. <coughs> okay, maybe clarify to this committee. Clarify mm. to this on our committee when you say at a personal level. You may not. That is if you okay. can. If not, you can leave it at that. No. Maybe, I think it was uh, my punctuation of the English. I don't hate her. Okay, okay. And then uh, as a committee that was put to you, whether you have uh, ever discussed this with the people who attended, and you say there are some friends, do you still remember even one or two of them? So that... Friends, can you hope this committee and mention even two of those friends? Why, gentlemen? Uh, your, your students, uh, and this helps you. For example, if you have been invited for an interview at 11, will you be going at 1 o'clock for exams? young men, you need to be quite responsible. Because this is how we end up having students, graduates who don't respect time. And you, your young people, educated, if you have been invited for a meeting at 11, please go at 11. The reason why I'm saying this, we are your leaders. This is the parliament. But even in other institutions, when they invite you at the time, please go at the time. You can't behave like you didn't go to school, please. And this is not about this committee, but generally that you are being young people, you are at university, please, you need to behave as such. Anyway, can we have them somewhere as we finish up with him? They do have to be Any parliamentary staff, please? Concluding. I, I just wanted this witness to that he shared with him. 
So I wanted him to mention, even if two members, if at all. First of all, I, I met up the person who shared with me the video. Mm. Then uh, I talked to Matovu Hassani, the one that took a photo with the, the Honorable Zake. I also communicated it to uh, look, uh, to uh, the person I know him by a nickname is called Mambala Jini, Luki de Mambala Jini, Ramagwa. Okay, thank you. Uh, I tell you, much as the witness had said that uh, he had shared the numbers, maybe for purposes of clarity. You, you would tell us these numbers. Okay, I will. I will. I will share the numbers. You, you don't have them here? You can begin with the one of Kauma. Kayongo contact zero seven zero zero eight two seven seven eight five. Okay. Ronald. Even himself, we also need his because they were sharing the three numbers he was referring to. Okay. My contact. Zero seven eight one mm. seven six mm. triple zero mm. three. Then Henry, is it Henry? Henry Buga. Mm. Zero seven eight six mm. five four. Seven eight three one. Thank you. Yeah, that is all. Maybe another clarification from the video you watched. From the video clip, how many people can you identify? Who do you know? Okay, Mr. Chair. First of all. I I saw a one called Sango Chibundu area a noob coordinator for Lakai district. From I also saw Luaga Patrick. Also, a NOP youth coordinator for either Lakai or Greater Massacre. I'm very uncertain about the position. I also saw Hassani Plo, sorry, Matovu Hassani. And I also saw a lady called Dinam Tiaba Sylvia. Who usually works with the NOP people in the massacre and the others? From the video, from the video, can you identify Honorable Zake in case he was there? Yes, I can. But you have not mentioned. Do you, do you still have the, the, the WhatsApp messages which you received? Can you share it with us? Or you share them with us? Now, how do you identify Honorable Zakir in that video? How, how have you identified him in the video clip? Mr. Chair, I, I identified Mr. Honorable Zakir by voice and a personal appearance. 
Are you a Muganda? Yes, I'm a Muganda. Is one of Azaka in this room? Yes. He's not here. He's not in this room. He's here. Where is he? He's the one putting on a red shirt or truck. And the chair before whatever happened. Had you known when I was okay? Because you're saying by voice, by... Had you known him before? Yes. We always know people by either voice and by their Let's physical appearance. Let's answer the question. We don't, we're not asking general questions. Okay. Did you know Hono Ozake before? Yes. He's a public figure. I know him. Well, do you know Hono Ozake? You are most welcome. Uh, I, I think that's all, the colleagues. We don't have any more useful questions. Serwanga. Mr. Serwanga. Serwanga Ronald. Okay, Mr. Serwanga Ronald, thanks for coming. Uh, I would like to assure you that this committee is trying to find out what happened. And uh, we, we, we are not a part to your differences between your camps in Rakai or wherever it is. We are just a parliamentary committee investigating whether what allegedly happened if wrong, if rings on our rules of procedure. That is the major reason why we are here. So thank you for coming and you are discharged. Okay, thank you, Mr. Chair. Okay. You want to ask a question? To ask a question? You're going to ask. You are going to ask it the honourable Kwago, maybe. <laughs> there is no witness now, really. Uh, yes, uh, maybe before he leaves, he has responded that he has the WhatsApp messages shared with him, and he promised that he would send. Can you do it before you leave? So you go and print, and then you come and submit. From is no. It, no, no, no. Bring them here. Uh, it, 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 it doesn't make in you know, a sequence. No, no, no. They just leave it as such. You want to be a little bit ordered in how we are doing things. We just leave it as that. Excuse me, Mr. Chair. Yes. I declared a copy of a screenshot of the the, mess, the chart I shared with the Mbuga Henry. It is not yet here. And uh, well, if you bring it, then you are subject to cross examination, and you have been discharged already. Uh, I don't know, colleagues, if you intend to recall dispatcher witness for that. However, once you do that, then you open him, him up again for press examination of that issue. My view is that, uh, well, without us being so legalistic and so on, if he has it and the uh, counsel is here, can look at it, and if he feels he can cross examine him. Because for me, that was the intention of asking him, availing us with the numbers and so on, to confirm that. Animal code <laughs> screenshot. Explain what is it, what do you have, what do you call screenshot? Screenshot, for the case of a WhatsApp chat, it is when you, you have organized the messages on a page of a phone, for example, then you take a photo of that page. So it is the screenshot that I'm talking about. Do you have it on your phone? I took it and printed the paper, I have it. But do you still have it on the phone? Yes, I also have it on my phone. In the case somebody wants to look at your phone. Yes, I do have it. Let, let me look at what you want before we...
we need to sort out because those people had a petition parliament about this incident um, that particular uh, it's not like our witnesses but they had petitioned parliament so whether we handle the petition or carry it in this proceeding I don't know that we get it but I think we'll have to resolve that first of all internally you get it whether we first before I allow that not yet address my mind to that. Uh, the one of us are Makere, what are they called? Rakai, Makere Rakai Students Association made a formal petition to the speaker. Uh, you didn't come as witnesses to this particular case. So I want to be clear on the law of whether we can handle that process. Uh, what lawyers call we consolidate it together, we process both together. Alternatively, we handle that process differently. So I'm not yet so sure on how, how we should handle it. I would rather sort of it first of all technical and legally before we proceed with them. Okay? Yeah, other than them coming and they have a petition and it just comes and it's just a process of this. We need to be clear on that. I, I hope you understand. Sorry? Oh, we'll have to examine the rules and see how we handle that. Because that seems to be a different petition, much as it was referred to this committee. However, we can process it or we can make a formal order for consolidation then we can process it together. Because we cannot have two parallel processes uh, uh, interrogating the same aspect. So uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for getting off time to come and attend to this business. We congratulate you. So can we now have this matter adjourned to Tuesday, 11 o'clock? By that time, we will have also resolved this issue of Makerere University students. Sorry? Mm -hmm. But we will have resolved that issue to see how we are going to uh, handle it within the rules because we don't want to act outside the yeah. No. Before you adjourn, we have an objection to the adjournment. No, mm -hmm. that adjournment is how can you have an objection to the adjournment? No. So you are objective what this committee is going to do? What the committee intends to do, we have a, um, an objection. No, 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 if, you if, a, if, a court, a if a court of law is a court, court exercises discretion and we, we are appealing to court 
to exercise jurisdiction, uh, judicial selling. Uh, and on this own that, motion. <laughs> yeah, if we are making a, a, a petition, this committee said strict timelines and said under all circumstances these proceedings will terminate today. And we programmed ourselves according to the chair. Personally, I had other schedules this week and I had to put off all the matters to make sure that I attend the proceedings. Okay. I dedicated this week on that premise that these matters would be handled back to back up to today. And we expected the complaint and chair to also exhibit the similar vigilance and the commitment to ensure that this matter is disposed of today. Chair, yesterday we are here, there were only two witnesses. Today we have only one witness. And the, the complainant on Tuesday did not turn up, and the committee on its own motion or volition, I don't know the reasons, but committee, for one reason or another, was compelled not to sit on Tuesday. Understandably, Chair, probably there were just five reasons. I can't fault the committee. And we had to adjust accordingly. So yesterday we are here, today we are here, and we thought the matter would be concluded today. The Honorable Bochinya Matama is not here. Yesterday she did not turn up, and she has a duty, much as she has already given her testimony, to mobilize the witnesses to be here. She's not here to give a full account as to why the rest of the witnesses are not here. So the adjournment being suggested by the committee or the committee is about to make may be injudicious. It may prejudice us, Chair, and indeed it will prejudice us, the defense, in that we prepared to have this matter concluded today. The unfortunate bit the whole of next week because of the schedules the committee made and the commitments I had to make to be here the whole of this week, I had to reschedule what I was supposed to do this week to next week on that premise that let's have this matter handled decisively within this week. Now, pushing it to next week, see, prejudicing us again, Chair, without even the complainant explaining as to why the witnesses are not here. So, Chair, I would pray under the circumstances that you be pleased, Chair, to take a decision to conclude these proceedings today. My client, this is the last uh, issue I'm raising. My client uh, was also scheduled to have been at the earlier communication. We indicated that we had some health issues and we were supposed to go for some checkup. And in the response given by the committee, sometime uh, uh, about two weeks ago, that those were not justifiable reasons. Because we had given three reasons. We had the matter in the Supreme Court, and another one was about his RFA concerns or issues. And that was not accepted by the committee. Uh, the committee said, come even if you are sick. Could the, the committee said that? Well... Really? <laughs> anyway, Chair, I want to conclude... Yeah, it, it, mm. To say that our client said he was sick and we said it is unacceptable. Mm. Is it unacceptable to fall sick or for somebody to say I'm sick? Because the committee was not meritorious. It didn't have lacked merit. I know, I, I that, that, that's the way I understood it. If I misconstrued it, I beg, I beg for your indulgence. Ah, please, uh, let us do this. Let, because we don't want you to ah, no, insinuate unfairness on the part of the committee. Chair, what I'm saying is that from the committee, if I misconstrued it, I beg for the excuse. I beg for the excuse, Chair. This letter again, it never says anything like that. Mm. What the letter says, it said, in the same letter, you allege that the committee did not consult you before determining the matter. The committee takes exception to this allegation. 
we, since the matter in question was adjourned in your presence and at your request, suffice to note that the committee had initially granted you one week within which to secure the services of another lawyer to which you objected, requesting for two weeks, which the committee granted. It's upon this premise that the committee adjourned the proceeding to the, to the 27th of Tuesday, 10 a.m. Additionally, the committee were adjourning the matter informed you that the above date would serve as the last adjournment except to be ready to proceed until the hearing. Consequently, the committee finds your risk for an adjournment based, based on the need to assemble a legal team to represent you in its proceedings unattainable. Regarding your unavailability to attend proceedings of the court, finds merit and according it at Jan. So where is this issue about sickness? The letter we had written <coughs> addressed the issue of health. We had, the, the reply addresses itself to two issues. One, the one it finds itself uh, an she certainly can't even be debated because you had proceed in the Supreme Court, please. I think it's unfair. And, and let's proceed really fairly on both sides. To allege unfairness on our part, we take exception in this honorable circuit. It is clear the letter speaks for itself. Let us now proceed to the request. So we, we appreciate that uh, we are given ourselves for two weeks to conclude this matter. And the reason the matter has gone on uh, a little bit and a too long. That's number one. Number two, all the witnesses in these proceedings are our witnesses. They're not your witnesses. That's why we suggest, because this is an inquiry, that's why we suggest that if you want, you have an, uh, a witness, please let us know and we summon. I've also looked at the rules. There is no rule that requires Onagochi Nyamatama to be here all the time. There is none. There is no rule that requires under our rules. So whether she is here or not for us, we shall proceed. And we have no apologies because she cannot come here except when she has been summoned. And even when she comes here, she has no right to cross-examine your witnesses. Even you, you may also decide whether you want it or not. And those are our rules. We are not reinventing the wheel. About the timelines we said, yes, they are very strict, but they are not cast in stone. They may, uh, the lawyer said there is what we call mandatory or, or what? You know? Discretion. Yeah, discretion and so on. And that remains within the discretion of the court. We, we can't, this committee cannot tie our hands that since this, because if there is evidence we know we have not had, we will accommodate, including the Honorable Sake, if there is any reason he feels for adjournment, he can always apply and we shall get him that opportunity. So, this matter is going to be adjourned to Tuesday, the unless you have any objection to that date and give us the date you are available. Questing next week is a bit tricky for me, but I don't want to bog down the proceedings. It's a bit tricky. Are you thinking the whole week? The whole week, because Chair, yeah, what we what I did is in rescheduling. In stone, much as they are very serious. I must repeat that. So, can we give ourselves next week and we'll zoom the other week Tuesday? But let us have this finally, colleagues. Unless we have got the issue of quorum, this matter will be concluded that week and we shall not make no adjournment. And that is now definite. Okay? This is purely the last adjournment we shall have. So we shall set ourselves, what is the date? The other Tuesday. 26th? How many witnesses are, are remaining? There are three? We can dispose of those people.
Oh, oh no, was a kid. You are not supposed to speak except through your life. If you want anything to whisper, you whisper to the man in your right. Verses two days in the case. Because I don't want again issues to raise that we say this one or what. So 26 are that judgment. 26 and 27. Follow six. Members, even if I'm not here, because we will be done with the hospitals that next week. So thank you very much, the legal team. The matter is urgent to the two and same time eleven o'clock. Have a good job. And the whole of us are leave now. <laughs> Ola baby into ebi okupa angirira. Ano musajja zze aganti personal assistant wa Javira. Javira te ya complaining awantu onera taina yo musango na gumu. Na yebwe bako ataka video ya gamba te baka wa personal assistant wa Javira. Na ye mukukamuwa nti baka muenda kuzo mwezi muendo mwezi ogwe kumi na atula na kona abira na ko na atasura kawa mukamawe ya avira personal assistant no funa video nge yugira kumukamawe no ga aaa ah, zenati ya no jimu wa ate no no nyasimanyo mulala akola mu social media yeka uma na ga ate kanji uono ate na hivu ya muku virambu na mugamba kale jimpe ereze na hata jimu erezanga muenda Muna jimuwele zenkera. Mbuza nsonga chiru wachiwa jimuwele zenkera mbutu ya lina uli data. Unawele za lina data. Gwajiwele za gamba ya atali na data. Na ya ono, ajiwele za na agano kujiwele za. Mboro kubalo za uli taina data. Kwe kambula bebi nitu evita kwa atagana. Ebi pange, umanyebi nitu evi pange dile. Tebi nyuera. Tumbuza ni ya jiriko dinga tamu manyi. Necho, nechilala. Umbuza anti kaka wachinya matema anti ati sinja mchawa ati ulala anti ati na biure vukati na gira bwenti ne bwenti kaka ti ubira bebi ndo ti bi pangi ti lebo pangi ris ne chikulu cha biyo na ba gamba ba ina ba juris ti bala bisi ku chinya matema tari u kati unona kuru akusatu kuru kubiri te yajja ne komiti ne tatula jote yala bisi ku noru aliro tala bisi ku aba juris bali no kureta. Tebala bika kuba na bawa manta bawa mante. Tu inza kuleta personal assistant wa javira. Nga kwe chinyama tama kompre ininga. Tulise uo. Personal assistant wa chinyama tama. Ye ya ni. Ye ya alua. Nejuwe lako balese. Nga baga mba social media personnel. Wa javira. Mbona ya yamba kone kuchinyama tama. Mbona ine kumuya yamba ko. Yewe. Bivaka muwele zate ya bifa hako nye wiku watakana kunye amatama. Ye ya liku nsandi kuja vira. Kuko ya lijarimetsu. Kuko ya lijarimetsu. Yes. Buliru naku. Ona lebo katu ntu netimyebe vaga manti. Mumbera yo nomu sangu guino kugwa. Oruwa alero. Nge naku zomwezi kuminanya. Akachipo ni kachisala huu. Netukiriza netukamba kari. Yade tuline vila lebi okola. Katubiyere kerezi. Tuweyo budi. Tujewanu. Ensonga zino ziwulirwe once and for all zigwe. Kuro kubiri twali tumazo kutuka wano ne bakuba simu. Oganti ah mudeyo tebatu wana nsonga. Dekona bebo zake nyinyi yayingira ne mu committee. Ne muga ah genda 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 lero to wali sitting. Tebamu wana nsonga bali bade bamuganti olwe nsonga eno neno neno. Tugenda okubitunulira nga kinya matama ali mu constituency masaka era kai bategeka bintu bya muhozi. Mumuhoza agenda kuchala, ebudu. Imagine, committee ya parliament nge set in the hearing, tuliba antubakuru babu vunanyi zibu, tulino kuja wano, chinyamatama ino awaba, ino kuleta bajulizi, alimu project muhozi. Era committee ne gende la nebio. Kakati, tituwa kumakuru, nebatuga akali mkome wencha yenkeira, era netuko mao. Noruwari nebatuga mkome, era netuko mao. Nenga bajulizi, tibazee. 
bali wa mantu onu bali itayonu bali itayonu bivu ugira temuli makuru so, so kakati tuko ye adjournment season hona lebo katuntu ye njini ya ruli inga chiri kuliko dina gamba kamu wati mei tusaze obu tasuka anga kuminanya kati muna fagami ndi ya those time as they are not cast in stone Bobe iba gwenye duwa tebali na ujulizi Fe tuze enchane gulo Fe chetu koye kwe kutuzu unza Echuchuru tuchikoye sija kurimba Na ye bobe njini batu zunzo uruo kubanga ujulizi buba buze Chetu geza kukulaga Tebali na ujulizi Mchifucho kukiriza nti ujulizi buba buze umusangu wa gugobe Ate batu zunza jojuzi mukomeo mujencha mujeruli Ebyo yetu koye Frustrate, frustration is an understatement. It's an understatement. We are flabbergasted. Yes, because we have been made to move up and down in the corridors of parliament, we have been made to incessantly come before the committee. And uh, on all occasions, at least the whole of this week, the Honorable Chinyamatama, who is the complainant, has made no show has not turned up without any reason being advanced. She has not explained. She has not even cut set to write to the committee. Yet she is duty bound as a complainant to mobilize these witnesses. How can you have a case and the, the proceedings are going on, the testimonies are being made and you are nowhere to be seen. She is not even interested in the proceedings. The witnesses they listed have not turned up. It's just one, two. They are picking here and there who are inconsequential, who are of no relevance whatsoever. The one who has testified today, for example, claims to be a PA to the Honorable Javira, who is not a complainant, and he's not even bothered about what was said about the Honorable Chinyamatama, which is the matter before this committee for investigation. Even the one who testified yesterday with the social media assistant to the Honorable Javira made the same statement that his concern was about Javira, not the Honorable Chinyamatama. So he is there to testify for and on behalf of Chinyamatama to defend her case. They are not there. The witnesses are not there. And the Honorable Katunti unequivocally stated that the timelines are very strict. The case would be concluded by today 14th. Why change goalposts? It's the reason we are saying we are really flabbergasted. We have other business to do. We had to make adjustments to our own schedules. And we had to put off some serious business to come and attend to these proceedings only to be frustrated by what is happening here. So it's the reason we had to pour out our sentiments, our concerns, so that they are put on record that we are really flabbergasted with the way the matters are being conducted.